Welcome, welcome everyone to the Two Has Bros podcast, a show where it's just two guys sitting around chewing gum and talking about the hobby we love the most, collecting action figures. I'm your host, Gio, aka Armin Tamzarian, and joining me on the line directly from the south side is a man who will never allow any man, woman, child, or mattress to stand in the way of his action figures. My lifelong friend, George, a.k.a. Timmy O'Toole. How you doing, George? Good. Right. What a week to start doing this podcast, this podcast where we talk about our love of toys and our love of hating movies that we like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is a hell of a week to start this podcast, George, because we're recording on a Saturday, and from last Sunday to today, I think... I purchased the best wave of figures that I've ever bought. And when I say wave, I don't mean a specific wave. Like You mean you mean the set of toys that you yes, bought? Yes, the yourself. set of toys that I bought. The lineup I bought is it's awesome. I don't think I've ever bought a, a stronger lineup of figures than I have within the last week. What does that what does that include? Uh, Caliban wave? No, I mean not Calvin. Wendigo wave stuff. Well, let's get to it. I last Sunday I bought the Nightcrawler from the Wendigo wave, Mister Sinister from the Wendigo wave, which I will not be building the Wendigo, so we can use those build the figure pieces to trade or sell. If anyone out there's listening and you're in the Chicago land area, hit us up. I'm willing to trade those. And I bought the 80 year Thor. I love this figure. It's beautiful. It's big. It's oh, might as well be Fabio in a Thor costume. <laughs> and then on Monday when I went to work, my friend Ignacio, shout out to Nacho, the man who single-handedly is responsible for my financial downfall because of all the figures he gets from me. <laughs> he got me the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Lord Zed. I've been looking for this Lord Zed for a long time. And damn you, Hasbro, that, that's going to be a, a constant throughout this episode. I hate you, Hasbro. You had to throw another line in there that I'm going to have to start collecting. And Not only that, the, they're like increasing the amount of legends by a lot. I know. For like a year. Too many. Too many, man. And yesterday I bought the, is it called the retro or the vintage wave of X-Men? I hear both, but mostly vintage. Okay, well, the vintage Iceman, the Jim Lee-style Iceman, and the Grail, the one that everybody's been looking for, and I believe you're still looking for it. I'll be keeping my eye open for for another storm. And she is beautiful, man. Well, I'm looking at her right now. She comes with the lightning effects that we saw with the other storm, the other storm, the 80s storm. But, man, this face sculpt, the hair, man. The hair on this thing is nice. The yes. yellow, yeah, it has it's 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 white or with like gray tones or hints to it. The yellow pops against the white. It's it's just, man, I'm in love with this figure. <clears throat> I've had them in the package for a while now, and I think, I think it's time. Where do you think I should start? <laughs> uh, the Lord Zed. Ooh, what a suggestion. It's time now, my friends, to let them breathe. Let me just find the tape here because these boxes are also very nice and I want to keep them. But let's get the Lord Zed out of here. If you hear crunching in the background, that's my dog. He's eating. Pull them out of the package. And would you look at that. Oh, I wish we were on camera right now so I could show them off. He comes with his staff. Is that what it's called? The staff? Yeah. With the Z on the top. What looks to be like a bomb or something. It's a little circle. You don't know what it is? 
No, I don't know. I don't rem- I I think I stopped watching the show uh little after Lord Zed joined. So, I'm not very familiar with it. And it comes with another set of hands, a closed fist and an open palm and some lightning effects much like the ones that comes with the storm. And I guess you put it on the staff. Is it the same kind? Is it the exact same? Exact same kind, just a dark red. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Hasbro. Yeah. Hasbro, just uh, just give us just give us a bag or a box full of accessories and stop kidding yourself. Yeah, I know, right? Let's see. The joints move. Beautiful. Oh, dude, you you, you got to hold this thing. Should have opened them yesterday when you were here. Okay, I found something I don't like about the figure. It looks like he's wearing shoes. <laughs> what? The silver on his feet looks like he's wearing dance shoes. <laughs> like he's about to do a tap dance. You, can you can you hear that? Oh, it smells like figure. So let's that's set that. Not, not the figure. Uh, I, that's that's. Uh... I think that's accurate how Lord Zed is. It's it's the authentic Lord Zed smell? No, no, uh the shoes that you were oh. saying. Oh, I thought you were talking about the smell. These figures should come sprayed in the sense of how the figures would uh the actual characters would smell. I don't think I think Lord Zed would smell really bad. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna open Aurora because I have to. I've been waiting to have this in my hands for such a long time. Oh, man. Beautiful packaging, but I am not an inbox collector. Can you hear that, George? I can hear your heart breaking all the way over here. <laughs> but you're not an inbox collector either. Technically, no. You've just been forced to. <laughs> All because of Pony. Oh, that smells nice. And she feels even better. Oh, these uh, these wings or pieces of cape on her. I thought they were going to feel like plastic. It is plastic, but it's got a texture to it. That almost feels like, like clothy, like cloth? yeah, but not exactly like cloth. I, I can't describe it. Oh, and she's got bitch face too. <laughs> you know, shit got real when Aurora's giving you bitch face. This is definitely gonna replace the uh, the eighty storm from my shelf. The waist doesn't move. She has no waist rotation. It had she pivots side to side and front to back, but from her uh, uh, under her boobs, what would that be? A diaphragm joint? I I don't know what those are called. Damn, dude, you got to come over and play with this. That sounded dirty. I'm talking about the toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get one more whiff. Oh. All right, should I do one more? Let's do one more. I'm like a like a kid at Christmas. I'll let you pick. I have Thor, Sinister, Nightcrawler, and Iceman. Uh huh. Sinister. Oh, excellent choice. Now with this, I don't really care about the box. All right, so coming out of the package. I like this little window that they put in front of the figures now. Have you noticed it? No. Uh, what, what window? Well, okay, so before the piece of plastic, you know that piece of plastic that we could use to make shit that's on the box? Like the window? The window from the box to see it? It's a separate piece now. And it's like it just goes over the other piece right in front of the figure. Oh, okay. I, yeah. That's my stuff. I think I like that. Ooh, this cape feels really nice, dude. It's not stiff. Oh, 
How big is it? It looks really big. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> this figure is sinister looking. It is <laughs> nice. It's heavy. It's got weight to it. Uh, I kind of wish they had given us another set of hands. Because it comes with a closed fist and an open hand. And nothing else to it, man. There's no accessories. Nothing. Just the uh, just the arm of the Wendigo. And it's double layered. The cape is double layered. Nice. And it looks like it might also help. Like if you're going to stand him and he's hard to stand, I think he could support himself on the cape. You could use it as a tripod. Oh, man. I'm so excited to put these guys on the shelf, George. When are you getting your shelf up and set up? I don't know. You got, to, you got to do it soon, man. I want to see those figures fully displayed. The blue on it, it's got like two different shades of blue. I thought it was black, but it's blue. It's like a dark blue and a metallic blue. Man, and the work on this face. I'm going to go play with them as soon as we're done recording. Well, I really thought you were going to suggest I open up the Thor. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? I'm going to open up the Thor. <laughs> Bonus figure. Let's see. Beautiful packaging that I'm going to throw away. Are you thinking of getting the Iron Man or the Captain America from the 80 years? Um... I already have a Captain Amer- uh, America, but uh, I guess if I see it on clearance, I might get the Captain America. I really want the Thor, so. Oh, you got to get this Thor. But don't make the same mistake I did, man. Just get it at Target or Walmart. I got it at a comic book shop, and I paid 35 bucks plus tax. And then I started seeing in in the Facebook group or in the toy group that they're seeing it at targets and shit for retail you know for a figure of his size he doesn't have a lot of weight to him like the sinister oh yeah yeah nice the joints are not tight i like that i I don't like it when they're too tight if it's almost like a Marvel legend, but a a little bit uh, a little more upscale, like a little oh, bit better quality. Oh. Have you ever had had a? Do you have any of the eighty year or the Marvel Studios ten year anniversary? No. I wonder if those are similar to this because the packaging is really similar. They better be because I think the. I think the 10 years were like 25 for like at retail. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this figure is not doesn't retail for for the regular 20 bucks that most other ones do. <laughs> it's worth it though, man, trust me. I'm holding it in my hand and it's nice. But the piece I'm most excited about from this figure is the uh the hammer. What's it called? Mjolnir? Yeah, Mjolnir. It's got some inscription on it, but it's a little too dark for me to see right now. I just know it ends with Power of Thor. Are the letters all clear? Yeah, they're definitely clear enough for you to read. It's just uh, I'm in low lights. Now, how does he hold it? Does he hold it from the stem or from the lasso that's on the end? But he's spinning it. He, he holds it from the, the, little, yeah, the little lasso grip. Or, uh, and uh, when he's flying, he holds it from the grip, too. But, like, when he's hammering. Damn, this figure is impressive. Oh, you got to get one of these, George. Yeah, wow, well, dude. He is nice. We're going to have to actively go on a hunt and try to find him. The other two figures I'll open off. I was going to say off camera, but we're not on camera. Do you have any uh, purchases you'd like to talk about, George? I know you got some figures. You had to have at least gotten one figure in the last week. Uh, in the last week, I got uh, the Far From Home Mysterio. And 
I got the uh, Anakin Archive series, Black Series. Now, from my understanding, you got the Mysterio for retail, correct? Yes. Why don't you tell us the story of how you came to find this highly sought-after figure? <laughs> I went into the store and I found it. Oh, man. Riveting stuff. <laughs> and then I avoided an accident. <laughs> I was about to ask, is this Getting... was this the same drive as the mattress? Yes, yeah. People want to hear about the mattress, George. You can't just mention accident and mattress and highway and not expect them to want to know what happened. It was on the street. It was on the street? Um, yeah. Still, the people want to know. Why don't you tell us all what happened? There was a van with a mattress on it in front of me. And, uh, and because uh, recently I had, I had helped uh, my brother move, I know how... Uh, how hard it is to tie down a mattress so uh we had to stop and retie it so while i was behind this this uh van uh i thought to myself i'm gonna i'm gonna sh- switch lanes because uh, i don't know if that thing's gonna fly off or not right so then i switch lanes and that thing flies off i mean it didn't happen like right away right i was i was passing it up on the side as it happened like it wasn't like let me move and then it happened but uh, it was, uh, it did happen. <laughs> That's gotta suck, man, because they have to get off and put the mattress back on top, try to yeah, tie it up again. Get it from in the middle of the street. Oh, man. <clears throat> have you at all opened up the Mysterio? No. Have you admired it for minutes? <laughs> There's like little dents on the, on the uh, helmet that I don't quite like. Little dents. Yeah, there's like these little dents. Is that a part of the figure, or do you think you got uh, something wrong with with yours? I think that's a part of the figure. I mean, I mean, it's not part of the design, right? It's like perfectly supposed to be perfectly spherical. But like you know, if you hold it at the right angle, you know, and the light hits it, there's like a little, little dents. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you know what? You know what would be awesome if. Uh, we could somehow like replace it with like a marble, like get a marble that size. You probably could. Yeah, that'd be sweet. You probably could. We could go to the <coughs> science store, the science science and surplus store, and get a marble. We could Dremel part of the inside out, fill it up with uh, cotton balls, and that might fit. Yeah, some. <laughs> yeah. So what? Uh, what? What? What did SDCC 2019 have for us as far as uh, Star Wars, the Black Series? Six inch, the important stuff. Nobody cares about that three and three quarter inch stuff, George. Okay. <laughs> Nobody cares yet. I think it's the, the what they make most of. Well, that's because a lot of children still buy it. No, I, I, th- I think it's because I think it's mostly uh, older collectors that that grew up with like the Kenner. Uh, with the Kenner stuff. Yeah, they do look nice. I would collect them too, but there's there's too god too goddamn many of them, and the six inch they just look nicer. Yeah, I I prefer a bigger. Uh, in fact, if I, if I could get bigger than a six six inch, I'd get something. But you know they don't make them. Yeah. Or they do, but it's more expensive. Uh, have you heard of the of the Star Wars Black Series Hyper Real line that they're uh that they introduced? I have not. What is that? Uh, it's gonna cost. It's gonna cost like eighty dollars per figure. It's gonna be gonna, the figures are gonna be like eight inches, and it's gonna be like kind of like a Hot Toys, uh, I guess, like uh, inner skeleton with like outer, uh, with outer like fabric and stuff where you don't see the joints. Would you get one? <laughs> not for eighty dollars. <laughs> There's a reason. There's a reason I collect the the Marvel Legends instead of the SH figure arts. It's it's the price. Yeah. I'm not in a position where I can spend eighty dollars on a figure. And if you are in a position to spend eighty dollars on a figure, you can just, you know, get a bunch of other black series of the six inch kind. <laughs> instead of just one figure, that's yeah, right. That's <laughs> I would think that way. If I had the money in hand, I would 
I would look at the figure and go, you know what? I'll just take these four instead. Yep. So far, uh, uh, they've uh, apparently a uh, Darth Vader and a uh, Luke from uh, episode uh, Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> I don't remember the number. Are uh, coming out. Mm. I saw one. I saw this Luke Skywalker from SDCC. Let me see if I can find it. The exclusives and uh, but it looks to be a three and three quarter inch figure. I one might that, be wrong. Uh, say that again. You saw one that you. Uh... It's a Luke Skywalker, and he's got a he's got like a robe on him. Oh yeah, I think they were a three and three quarter inch. Yeah, it looked like three and three quarter inch because the whole figure was in the picture, not just the, from the waist up like the other ones. Is it was it that three pack? I don't know if it was in a pack. Oh. I don't remember. But the, the, what, what do you think about uh, them just announcing the Dagobah Luke? Do you think that's because they're saving the other reveals for after the movie or before the movie? Oh, the uh, episode nine reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. I don't want another Luke. What the hell? Yeah, I was. I was gonna say. Well, what do you think about the Diego Ball Luke? I don't want that Luke. If I want another Luke, I want the Jedi Luke, the one in the black uniform. From episode. Well, uh... From Jedi. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Jedi Knight Luke. That's the Luke I want. I think it'd have to be a re-release. I think they'd have to put it. Well, they wouldn't have to, but you know, you know how they are. They'd, uh, they, it'd probably be an archive uh, series. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm fine with. I love the Anakin, the Yoda, and the Boba Fett. It beats paying fucking scalper price. And you know what, too? Uh, the Dagobah Luke. They show him in the picture, him carrying Yoda. But they're not going to add, like, a Yoda for him to carry. Will they add a backpack? Buy... Huh? Will they add a backpack so that you can put your Yoda in for him to carry? It they it should be possible, I think. Or if not, just make, like, a Yoda that attaches to that specific, uh, that specific loop. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. That would be nice. Cause they I want still you to... wouldn't get it. Because <laughs> they want you to buy... They want you to buy the the Luke and the uh, Yoda separately. Oh, those bastards! <laughs> what do you think of the uh, of the uh, Comic Con exclusive Boba Fett that they made look like the old Kenner three and three quarters? Inch? Is that Boba Fett more movie accurate than the one I got, the archive series? I think so. No, I don't know. I mean, I don't need it. I. To be oh, honest, I could see either one in the in the store, and I'm not going to know which one's movie accurate. I'm just going to pick out the one I like the most. Well, not for Boba Fett. For other ones, I probably would be able to pick out which one's more movie accurate. But, uh, yeah, not for Boba Fett. And and it's funny because uh, because the colors on the uh, SDCC exclusive are brighter, so I might like, like that one's... Uh, costume better but it's i think it's less movie accurate and more expensive oh yeah definitely yeah. what do you think of them making a toy of of a toy <laughs> a toy of a toy yeah it's it's based on the uh old kenner three and three quarters inch oh I'm okay thinking... I, yeah I, I get what you're saying I you guess. know the you know the one that toy galaxy collects a lot of yeah the boba set boba fett you mean oh, dan that. larson yes Dan Larson. I love Dan Larson. I will talk about Dan Larson anytime you want on this show. <laughs> also, uh, what was I saying? Um, what do I think about them making a toy about a toy? Yes. I don't know. I mean, if it's a cool toy, I guess. It's just, it's not for me. I'm not going to hate on the figure, but... Yeah, I'm it's, gonna, it's gonna not gonna for me either because I didn't have the toy. The same concept when if they make uh, Toy Story figures? Yeah, I guess it's kind of similar to that. I still can't believe that Toy Story 4 is your favorite Toy Story movie, George. <laughs> okay. We didn't even watch the whole thing. <laughs> and it's still... And it's still that good. 
It took me about 20 minutes to figure out what was going on. It it uh it it also uh it also took me some time to figure out what was going on, but uh eventually you just have to like not think about it and just enjoy what's going on. <laughs> I knew they were looking for a uh fork fork thing. That was basically uh when we started watching it. It was a good movie. I'm not going to say I didn't like it, but I don't know. I, I still think Toy Story 2 is my absolute favorite and Toy Story 3. I like I like Toy Story 2. It, it used to be my favorite before 4. So do you think uh do you think Hasbro will lose the rights to uh Marvel Legends? I don't think so. I think the guy implied that uh that uh Things are going well in the negotiations or whatever. And by the guy, you mean? Uh, the Asian guy? <laughs> I don't remember. No, that. it was a guy the with hand? the U.S. Yeah, with the U.S. cap. Oh, okay. That Shardimus Prime was interviewing. Yeah, uh, I forgot his name. Yeah, me too. That would suck, though, man, if they lost the Marvel Legends line. Because they're doing, they're fine. They're finally perfected it so good that the figures are awesome. Yeah, it, it would suck. Um, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's ending anytime soon. I hope it's not. I think, but I, I hope it is because fucking Hasbro, man. Fucking Hasbro. <laughs> I um most of I think most of the money you know that we spend like on MCU shit. Is probably on on figures. I don't I don't know about you, but you know, yeah. three three movies a year is uh that's like that's like a uh, a legend and a half. And people watch the movies multiple times, dude. Like a lot of people watch the movies multiple times, so they're going to the movies multiple times to watch the movie. Then they're going out and buying the figures, and you're just throwing all these figures at us. This year, well, this year was just ridiculous. It, it's it's ridiculous the amount of figures they've thrown at us. I like collecting Star Wars Black Series. I've recently gotten into the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. <laughs> I want to buy this other shit too, man. <laughs> I know they need to slow down, right? They need to slow down. But but, uh, uh, but uh, how yeah. how many times uh how many uh, MCU movies have you seen this year? New ones or just all together? <laughs> Uh, new ones in in theaters. In theaters, I've seen all three. Uh, which is uh, Captain Marvel, Endgame, and uh, Spider Man. Oh, Spider Man, Spider Man, right, right, right. But Endgame uh, is the only one I saw multiple times. I, I only seen Captain Marvel once. I haven't rewatched it again. Don't really want to. And Spider Man, I just haven't had a chance to go see it again. Okay, so yeah, I saw I saw Captain Marvel, uh, Endgame twice, and. Spider-Man Far From Home once. Uh, so that's, uh, I don't know, that's how much? 40 bucks for movie tickets? That's two figures. Before <laughs> tax. two figures. But have you gotten more than two MCU figures this year? <laughs> then we spend more on Hasbro MCU merchandise than, which is, which is why Disney should have to keep the, uh, that license. Dude, I have a list of only Marvel Legends figures that i've picked up this year do you want to hear it of uh say it again do you want to hear the list of only marvel legends figures that i've picked up in 2019 uh yes but uh can you only say the uh, mcu ones um okay let me see star lord ant-man the wasp all oh, right right uh scarlet witch black widow nebula Ebony Maw, the worthy Captain America, and that's it. And, well, if you want to include the Builder figures, I completed the Vulture, Cull Obsidian, and Mantis. That was all this year? That's just this year, and those are only the, that's only the MCU figures, dude. Damn. Yes, damn. Uh, yeah, well, in, um, uh... Legends off the top of my head. I, well, just from the just from the movies that came out this year, uh, I got a Captain Marvel, a, a Talos, 
the scroll uh and uh mysterio i haven't got i don't think i've gotten any end game no if if you it. want to be discouraged from collecting do what i did man i haven't what stopped collecting you? but write down the figures that you've bought <laughs> I'm. I have like a little Ziploc bag full of uh, receipts of uh, the figures. Oh my that god! That I'm one day gonna add up. You actually have the amount. <laughs> yes. You're gonna cry. <laughs> and and look at all this crap that that's coming out next year. This slash this year. I also made a list of that. This is stuff that they announced in uh, San Diego Comic Con, and it's not even including the figures that we haven't gotten yet this year. Well, that we haven't bought because a lot of them are out. But they have that uh, the morph, but it's not the Jim Lee style. Don't know if I'm gonna want it. Nathan Gray, do you know who Nathan Gray is? I don't. I do not either. Apparently, it's X Men from the '90s. The Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. I think I want that figure. Have you seen it? Um, the one with the uh, like, no, no, I. Is it, does it come in the vintage? No, no. It's good. I think it's going to be a wave. Oh, okay. Then I I think I've seen it, but I don't remember what it looks like. He's all in black, and his hair is, like, really big and crazy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and he's got, like, his hand cut off, like, his his flesh hand cut off. Oh, and, and he has the claws to... coming out of the stub. Yeah, that, that I think I want that Wolverine. And I'm not one that wants more Wolverines. I passed on the vintage or retro. I don't know what this line is called. This newest wave that's out for the X-Men. I'm not getting that Wolverine, and I'm not getting the Wolverine from the Wendigo wave. Shang-Chi, do you know who Shang-Chi is? I, no, I, uh, I know he has a movie coming out. I may want the figure. I don't know who he is, but it looks cool. It's like having a little Bruce Lee or a uh, Liu Kang figure. Um, there's a Spider-Man wave coming out, and it's got a couple of Spider-Man, but from the game. I haven't played the game. Well, I've played like 15 minutes of it, but I had to return it. I rented it, and I want to buy it, but I'm just not playing a lot of video games right now. Have you played it? No, I haven't played it. It's really similar to to the Arkham, like the fighting style and the open world. Huh. Uh, the Sinister Six Vulture. Have you seen that one? The green one? Yeah. The comics, I want that, man. I think it has liver spots on it, too. <laughs> and the Walgreens exclusives, uh, Karma, Wolf Sprain, and Danny Moonstar. But they're like the same figure. Oh, the yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you're talking about. And you're going to have to buy three just to have them posed with the separate heads. But then you're going to have more heads and more hands yeah right yeah <laughs> uh gray she hulk i don't know if i'm gonna want that one have you seen it she's got like tattered clothes or ripped clothes yeah oh and dr doom have you seen the dr doom yes oh fuck i want that figure although it's i don't like the rivets yeah um, the armor and shit and the 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 cloth it looks like it has cloth pieces on it. I'm not a big fan of it, but it looks pretty cool on the pictures they took. I think it heard it I think I heard that it just looks really like cloth, that it's not it's not like the Black Series uh that cloth in it. I wouldn't mind that. That would be that would be alright. Yeah, actually I wouldn't mind cloth on Legends. The the Gambit, the Toy Biz Gambit is great. That one has a cloth on. Yeah, but it's like one piece. If they did the Doom with a cloth cape, cloth, what's it called, what he's wearing? Like his shirt? Wouldn't that be metal? No, it's got like green over it. It looked like it was cloth. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the entire thing would have to be cloth? Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't like that. Unless it was really properly done, but it's in the six inch scale, it's probably too hard to pull off. The uh, Amazon exclusive X Force Deathlock. I'm going to pass on that. The Camo Fatigues Punisher. That's another pass. I don't have a Punisher yet, but that's not the one I want. I have a Camo Punisher, actually. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna use them for uh, to customize them. Uh, we'll see. Killmonger. Yes, customize the Killmonger, but <laughs> they released the Killmonger. And then they dropped Killmonger on us. I still don't have a Killmonger. Uh, the Giant Man looks freaking cool. I'm getting that Giant Man. Have you seen it? The way it's packaged. Yeah. Is it gonna be the same <laughs> the same size? Is it gonna be basically the same as the Build a Figure? I think so. I think it's been a re-release. Oh, okay. I, well, I, I, like that. I might get it. I don't know. Well, the paint apps will be different. I hear that it's a little brighter. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's, it's better. It's better that. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, the Havoc and Polaris two pack. I think it's gonna be a two pack where they come in their uh, classic comic style suits. Yeah, I think I want that. I think I want that set because I don't. I want. I would. I would have gotten a Polaris and a Havoc, but I'm not crazy about the way they look. But I really like the way they look here. It'll be low on the priorities list, but definitely one that I think I'm gonna keep an eye out for. Then they also announced the 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 one everybody's gonna go for. Can you guess which one it is? I. Would have uh, assumed the Doctor Doom, but you already said that one. So, which one? Well, it's easy, easily the most popular oh, one. Oh, right, the, uh, shit. the three, the uh, Cyclops, Gene, and Wolverine. The, the Love Triangle pack. Oh, I want it. The only gripe, the only fucking gripe I have with that three pack is that it's a three pack. Yeah, I don't need another Wolverine. I like the bone claws, don't get me wrong, but I don't need another fucking Wolverine. And I don't need a Cyclops with a jacket on. I'm perfectly happy with the Jim Lee Cyclops that I have. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd also prefer it to be like that because I don't have it and I want it, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> and it's 60 bucks. Oh my god. And for, what? And for a freaking Wolverine that we don't need. It's 60 bucks for a Jean Grey. It's basically what it is. Yeah. At that point, you might as well pay scalper prices for the Jean Grey that's already out there. Yeah, except that one doesn't look as good. No, it doesn't look as good, and you won't get the ponytail head. Oh, yeah, I want that ponytail head. I think I'm going to put the ponytail head on that and replace my Phoenix head with the... Oh, but I can't because she she has that thing on her forehead, the Jean oh, Grey. yeah. I don't know, but I, I like that sculpt. I like that sculpt of the loose hair. And it, it comes out, I think, in December. Because <clears throat> I looked today, because they were saying, oh, you can buy it already. But I guess you can pre-order it already. On Amazon, it's $100. What the hell? I know. On Hasbro Pulse, it was $59.99 or $69.99. But I, I, I'm just going to... It's It's either $60 or $70, one of the two. Oh, God. I hope it's... I know. It's not seventy. See, that's 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 going back to the reason. What the fuck, Hasbro? I could have used that money to buy something else from you. <laughs> Green Ranger, anyone? The Pink Ranger. They also have the strong guy, but uh, I think it's gonna be a build a figure. Okay. I, I'm not too familiar with the character, but he's got a nice look to him. No, but then I'd have to end up buying figures that I probably don't want just to build it. So it's probably gonna be a pass for me. <laughs> um, the Squirrel Girl Vespa. It's with the vehicle line. You know, you know anything about a uh, Squirrel Girl? I know that it's implied that she dated Wolverine once. <laughs> I also heard in the video I was watching that she fought Thanos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is she ever yeah. gonna be incorporated into the MCU? I don't know. I don't I don't know who she is. I, I know nothing about her, so I don't even know if I want her in the MCU or not. <laughs> not that I don't. I'm just saying I don't she know who she you? is. I have no idea if she's an X-Men or or just a superhuman. The other vehicle is the Cosmic Ghost Rider. That looks really nice. It does look really nice, but the first time I saw it, it looked like Hordak. Do you know who Hordak is? No. 
He was a bad guy from Shira. Do you know who Shira is? Oh, uh, from uh, He Man. Yeah, her, his sister. Back in the eighties, because that's when I used to watch it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The bad guy's name was Hordak. <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't know why. But the when I saw it, like when they put it on the on the screen, I thought it was Hordak. <laughs> and they also have the End Game Wave Three. Which uh, I don't remember off the top of my head which figures it is, but I know there's another Iron Man. I don't want the Iron Man, but I want the gauntlet so I could put it on the Professor Hulk that I still have to build. I only have the heads. The Captain America. Do we really need another Captain America? Uh, are you talking about the Captain America from the first Avengers? I don't know what it's. I, th- I think. Are, it are is. you talking about the Fat Thor wave? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't... Uh, I already have the Captain America I want, which is the Civil War uh, Cap. Oh, I yeah. also want the Worthy Thor, but I I haven't found it yet. The Worthy Cap? Yeah. That's a nice figure. Yeah, I have both Captain Americas I want. I have the, I have the Worthy Cap and the Vintage line, comic book style. 80 years? No, I don't think it's 80 years. No, no, it's it's definitely not the same line as the Thor and the Iron Man, the Thor that I recently picked up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know which one you mean. Uh, the one that's in like the card. Yeah, right. yeah, I have that one, and I'm happy with those two. I don't need another Captain America in my life. <laughs> and there's I, many. there's too many Iron Mans. There's too many Captain Americas, Wolverines, and Deadpool's. <laughs> I don't need that many of those figures, man. I, I'm happy with one, one or two, on my shelf. How many? Uh, how many Wolverines do you have? Three. <laughs> the first Wolverine I bought because there was no Tiger Stripe Wolverine yet. When I started collecting Marvel Legends, <clears throat> way back when, last year, and uh, then I got the Tiger Stripe Wolverine, and I have Weapon the X. It was the brown uh, suit? Brown suit Wolverine, yeah. I bought it loose from the first uh, bunch of Marvel Legends I bought, which was like six, I think. And I wouldn't have even gotten the Weapon X, but I got that whole Caliban wave. But I don't need any more Wolverines. I don't want another... Well, I do want one more Deadpool. I have the Deadpool from the comic style. I want the Deadpool from the movie. Do you think they'll ever uh, start making uh, movie... uh... The figures? The Fox movies? Yeah, the Fox movies. Deadpool or X-Men? Any. Any of them. I could see them doing Deadpool. I think they're going to bury the X-Men. That, that's not right. They're going to hide it like a, like an embarrassing pimple. <laughs> uh, I, I would want that... it. I would want some figures. I would too. I heard that Disney was putting pressure on Hasbro to... Uh... In order not to release those, there's a isn't there a couple of figures or is that a completely different line? What of X Men figures from the movies? Uh, <clears throat> there were some, but some of the early ones, I don't know, maybe before the MCU. I mean, before Disney bought the MCU. I know there's a Jean Grey from X Three, I think, from from Hasbro, made a legend from Hasbro. Of Jean Grey X3. And uh, I, I don't know. The, I think uh, there's a beast. A Kelsey Grammer beast? Uh, I don't know if it's Kelsey Grammer or the other guy. The young beast. Oh, from First Class? Yeah. Oh. I want a Sophie Turner. I want a little Sophie Turner on my shelf. With the, <laughs> with the photo reel scanning. I need that figure in my life, Hasbro. Uh, cu- customize a customize a Game of Thrones <laughs> figure. It's two questions: Is the figure a redhead, and is it a six inch? I don't know. I think the McFarlane. I know McFarlane is making them now. Uh, they used to be made by Funko. I yeah, she's she's a redhead in the show. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if they're to scale though. So mm. the head might be too big. What a bullet I dodged, huh? Not watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> from what no, I hear, no. from what I hear, it went the way of Lost. 
I I haven't seen the last season, but uh, there's no way people wouldn't have come out pissed from that. There's there's zero way. You think? Yeah. Uh, Why? Because he can't please everybody? Because you have to make a fucked up ending. A really fucked up ending. And that's not going to make most people happy. Yeah. Like if you want your, your, like the people you're rooting for to win, then they're probably not gonna. You know what I mean? But that could make a really good show. I mean, I loved Infinity War, man. Avengers Infinity War is my favorite MCU movie, including Endgame. I like that all the the heroes that I like got killed. Well, I, I don't know. It's because I don't know what the the fans like. Uh, it, it's been going downhill for a while now. I don't know what they expected. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I haven't seen the last season, but I, I don't know what they were expecting. We know what fans want, George. We've seen it firsthand. They want, they want more of the same, but completely different. They want more of the same with slight tweaks, just like The Force Awakens. <laughs> uh, you, you, want, you want new hope? Here you go. Same fucking movie, just different characters. And you're going to like it. And everybody walked away from the theaters going, yeah, I liked I, it. I did like it. <laughs> I liked it too, but then eventually, you know, I stopped and I was thinking about it. And I thought, this is the same fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. So you think we're going to get Empire Strikes Back? In this upcoming movie? Because that's the second one that people like the most. Well, I guess they tried that with that with The Last Jedi, no? Of, uh, so Rey goes off the train, and then Rey gets her parents revealed that she... Uh, about Stuff about her parents. Yeah, but that was such a bad movie. I thought it was average. Average Star Wars, which makes it a good movie in general. Uh, I wouldn't call it a good movie. I wouldn't call it a bad movie. But it's one of the few Star Wars movies that I've seen once. And I'm probably not going to see again. Unless I'm forced to. Like, say I'm going to binge watch the whole yeah, saga. I, that's what I was going to say. I watched them all again. In order. <laughs> I want to do that with the MCU. Because this is going to come as a shock to a lot of people out there. If anyone's listening. All right. Take a seat. Brace yourself. I haven't seen every MCU movie. There's a very good amount that I haven't. Sa- <laughs> Sacrilege. Sacrilege. <laughs> Blasphemy. And and I, it's, there's some, some of the good ones, right? That I haven't seen. Yeah. Winter Off Soldier. The Winter Soldier. I, I can't believe I haven't seen that. Uh, which, which, ones, which other ones haven't you seen? The first two Thors. I liked them. Unlike... Apparently, people really don't like uh, the second Thor. I liked it. The Incredible Hulk. That one was all right. Yeah. I've quote unquote seen Doctor Strange. I fell asleep both times that I attempted to watch it. Not because it was boring, just <laughs> circumstance. I don't think it was boring. It was probably a good movie, but I fell asleep. I think that might be it. So like four or five. Okay. Then there's a but there's some that I don't remember, like Guardians two. I don't remember it that well. Oh no. No, I don't remember. Oh, Iron Man 3. I haven't seen Iron Man 3. I walked out of the theater. <laughs> and I he don't was, remember. It was all right. I don't remember the first two. But that's because I, did, I didn't like get heavily into the MCU until Civil War. Oh, okay. Like that I really got invested into, into the movies. And I, I had seen movies, but I was like, oh, that's pretty good. But I didn't think anything of it. I was still... More of a DC guy, which I think I, I, I probably still am. It was, uh, it was at this point that George could no longer take it. The fact that I haven't seen Game of Thrones, that I did not like The Last Jedi, and my admission to liking DC that made him walk away from the conversation. I'm pretty sure he destroyed everything in his house. But, uh, well, we lost connection. So I think this is going to be a good spot to end the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to two guys talking about toys if you did subscribe to the show tell people about it share it if you can we would really appreciate it because we need more content like this we need more people talking about action figures it's what we want to listen to right i want to give a special shout out to the facebook page 
the group that we are in, uh, Shy Town Toy Hunters. You guys are part of the inspiration for this because we do this for people like you, like us, that love toys, and we just we want more toys. We want more more things that have to do with toys, and if that means listening to two people talking about it, then why not, right? That's gonna do it for this edition of the Two Hasbro's. See you next time. Happy hunting. <laughs>